Okay. I'm Kasturi De. Now speaking on the topic, the seed. That it is according to ICC syllabus class six. So what is a seed? It's a fertilized ovule. The ovules after fertilization develop into seed. Okay. So if we consider a bean seed, we can see if we cut open the seed, we can see that inside the seed there is yellow part called the cotyledon. And a green part is there, a green small little plant type is there that is the upper part is plebule and the lower part is the radical, this is the embryo. Okay, now seeds are of two types. The seeds are of two types. One is dicotyledonous and the another is monocotyledonous seeds. Dicotyledonous seeds, here we see two seed leaves or cotyledons. For example, we see it in pea, beans, etc. In monocotyledons, we see that it has only one seed leaf or cotyledon. It's found in maize, rice, etc. And if we consider a bean seed structure, the outer external appearance, we can see that there is a position of radical here. This is the position of radical here. There is a micropyle through which, this is the micropyle through which the water enters into the seed. This is the helum. This white portion is the helum. Here, the seed is attached to the ovary and this is the main part where, which is covered by a seed coat called the testa. If we take a longitudinal section of the bean seed, we can see the outer part, outer covering is the testa. Then there is another covering, lower covering, that is the tegmen. These two con con constitute the seed coat. The light yellow color is there. The upper part is the plimule and the lower part is the radical. This is the radical here. This is the plimule. There is a micropyle. There is a pore. Micropyle is a pore through which the water enters the seed. And the major portion is the cotyledon where the food is stored for the seed to grow. Now the seed coat, it's the outermost greenish thin protective covering layer. It protects the seed from insects and bacteria as well as from mechanical injury. I told you earlier the seed coat is divided into two parts, testa and tegmen. Testa is the outer exposed part and tegmen is the inner part lying under the testa. That's a thin membrane. Okay. Hilum. What is a hilum? A scar present on the inner side of the seed. It marks the place where the seed was attached to the fruit wall. Now, the micropyle. A small pore above the helum, it absorbs and allows the entry of as much water as is required for germination. Now, cotyledons. On removing the testa and tegmen from the soaked bean seed, we find two fleshy seed leaves. These are the cotyledons. They contain stored food used by the seedling for growth. It is the edible part of the seed as pulses, like if we find it in pea or gram. Now the radical and the plimule. In between the two cotyledons is located that uh, delicate embryo which consists of radical and a plimule. The radical develops into root and the plimule develops into a shoot. Then we come to a structure of a monocotyledonous seed that is a maize seed. 
the maize seed it has a scar here white portion is a scar there is in the white portion there is a portion here that is the scar of the style where the style was attached to and this is the endosperm this is the endosperm yellow color portion is the endosperm okay this is the external appearance and if we if we cut through if we make a longitudinal section of the maize uh, seed maize grain rather uh, it is we can see there is a seed coat of the fruit wall the just below the fruit wall there is a aluron layer aluron layer and just below the aluron layer is the endosperm this orange portion is the endosperm layer below the endosperm lies the epithelial layer it's a germination layer then there is the cotyledon yellow portion is the cotyledon where there is the plumule and the radical the plumule is covered with by the coleoptile and radical is covered by coleorhizum now now we describe the structure of the maize grain almost triangular in shape the lower end is narrow and yellowish white in color the lower end is yellowish white in color the upper part is broad and dark yellow in color the seed coat is fused with the pericarp or the fruit wall the seed coat there's no particular uh, pericarp uh, and the fruit wall is separate but there they are both are fused seed coat is fused with the pericarp and so the seed is not called seed but it's a grain that's why maize seed is called maize grain the seed coat is thin and membranous and form the outermost part the upper broad part is the endosperm this is the endosperm endosperm stores starch surrounding the endosperm is a protein layer that is the aluron layer the lower portion is the cotyledon the yellow portion is the cotyledon it contains the embryo which is made up of radical and plumule okay now what is the basic difference between a bean seed and a maize seed okay bean seed is a dicot seed dicotyledonous seed and mono maize seed is a monocotyledonous seed bean seed endosperm is absent but in maize seed we see the endosperm present bean seed we find the cotyledon store food but here maize seed we we find the endosperm is storing the food bean seed the embryo is large in the maize seed embryo is small and the bean seed seed is contained separately in a fruit here the seed coat and the fruit wall are fused to form a grain okay now this is the uh, end of the seed we will come to the next topic in the next video that is germination